Hello guys, time again to tie a classic salmon fly. Uh, we're gonna focus on a really nice fishing pattern today, so let's start tying. Let's start uh, tying then. So first of all, um, we're gonna have golden fest uh, breast feather, the red one. Uh, so let's just prepare that one. It's going to be fishing fly, so uh, I tie in quite a lot of the material just to make sure it's robust. There we go. Then we have seal fur, uh, yellow. So it's going to prepare that one. Put it on the table while we add mm, silver tinsel. I go with the medium oval. As in statements uh, that you should have double tinsel. However, I'm gonna go with si uh, single. Yeah, securing that one. And then going back, and uh, as you see, I have a golden Alex Bay hook uh, today, and uh, the black are uh, finished. I'm using the gold ones now. I think they look very nice as well. So let's start with that amount of yellow seal fur. Just tying it in tight wraps. I'm gonna brush it out. I'm gonna need a bit more. <clears throat> Today it's a lovely Sunday. So I'm doing a few movies ahead of time that I can release during the week. If you want me to tie a certain pattern, you can just uh, write in the community or reach out on Messenger to me and I'm going to add that to the list and include that during my weekly videos. Getting there. I don't need to brush it out, it's quite brushy already. Uh, let's go with the tin cell. I think I will go for like five turns. There we go. Looks good to me. Now I can close the yellow seal fur. I'm gonna use uh, the other the yellow feather from the breast, uh, golden pheasant. I think that's the side feather or whatever. Prepare that to tie in. And these kind of patterns are really good, you know, if you're at the river you need to tie something. Uh, the, these ones you can tie in hand without any bigger issues. And they fish well. That's why I have a uh, an eye on this one. I'm gonna fish it. So 
now we're going to use all the material on this one as an hackle around there you go so just tying in everything here Strewing away this stem. There we go. And this uh, pad I'm going to have uh, flat silver tinsel uh, just to tweak things up. I go with embossed. So I'm trying that one in now. Tie everything in. And then, since it's a spay fly, I'm going to tie in a black gray hair on. So it's colored. I did find a really nice feather with a lot of strands in it. We're going to use it as much as possible <clears throat> before I tie it in I'm gonna wax the thread just to make sure it really sticks well and I just realized I need to go and get a full feather for the front tackle. I forgot to put that on the table. Just give me a second to get that. And while I was there, uh, we need to have uh, the sword, the tail feathers as well in the wing. <clears throat> so, back to the tying. Uh, we're going to continue now with the black seal fur. Five turns in the tinsel as well, due to the fact I want to have uh, a lot of the hair on in it. So let's continue building the body. bit more I think that's sufficient then we're gonna have the front tackle and a few turns of here on in the front as well so yes putting the leftover black seal fur back in the bag and cleaning up the table. So 
So first we start with the tin cell. There we go. Yeah, four turns. That's okay. Here on, just fold the fibers backwards. Then after the tinsel, there we go. Just trying to get the hero to do what I want. Not always the easiest thing. we are in the end here we're gonna do one or two more wraps so we utilize the, the hair on better and we're gonna finish there sufficient just cutting the stem off waxing the thread a bit secure everything a bit more banks and I just gently gonna brush throughout the fly separate everything so let's find a uh, front tackle I think I'm gonna go with one with big dots because uh, I have no use for them otherwise. Okay, let me see if I find a decent size one. Oh, I like that one. I'm gonna go with that one instead. So smaller dots, more intense. <coughs> Sorry, I still have the, the cold. a bit dry feather should be fine So let's find my favorite tool, the hate. <laughs> so uh, 
let's add the front tackle then. This uh, guinea fold feather was nice, quite thin stem to be honest, and uh, a bit longer fibers. So I'm gonna use plenty of it. I think that's more than sufficient. Oops. My favorite tool to hate. So let's cut the, the stem there. Don't need to play with it anymore. There we go. I think even, let's see. I think I'm gonna unwind that one, honestly, yeah, and put it more tight together. Even if I cut the stem there, but it shouldn't be an issue. But this this one is really really dry, so I think I'm gonna change feather. Looking at it, that one will not last long. I can just add less. Let me add less. Now it's coming together. There we go. Now oh, it's gonna be better. Let me cut that one off again. Sorry guys. Now we have a better look. So let's then add a bit more wax thread. Just securing everything. The same uh, building up a bit, leveling out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna separate in the top, I'm gonna fold the feathers to the side the best I can. There you go. Now I have like an uh, easier way for the feather to pass in the middle. Still I'm gonna add a bit more thread, wax thread. It's building up a bit here. Then we have the tail feather, the red ones on the... I'm not sure if they call like sword, red sword feathers.
don't need long ones <coughs> since we're gonna cover this with my lad I just want it to be in that one was really small these ones are really thick just have that in mind I'm just trying to sort out the stem so they stay together. Let's see how it turns out. We might need to add a bit more thread. No, I think that's okay. They're not that high. And then we're gonna have the mallard over. Let's find some decent mallard. One side, a bit short. That one was long enough. Let's see how we can get the mallard to sit right. I'm gonna try one side at a time. There we go. Just gonna have a quick look at the pad and description. That's it. We're just gonna wax the thread. Then I'm gonna uh, cut all the leftovers. And the varnish in the head. Let's add a few wraps of wax thread. gonna varnish this one in three or four layers make it robust robust for fishing that's uh, lady florence guys i uh, hope you enjoyed the video uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell uh, button so you don't miss out uh, uh, my videos then you get an announcement uh, hit the uh, thumbs up button share the video if you like um, thanks a lot for watching and see you